This is typical of what happens with a lot of these mines though. The start, the top starts to cave in. Makes it difficult to get inside of though. Let's get in here, guys. Ooh. Looks like we might turn a corner down there. Sweet. These are some old boards. That's unsettling, though. All of that is now down here. You want to go in, Bear? Hmm? You want to go in? Good boy. You are a good boy, Bear. All right, let's go. Interesting. We transition from dirt to rock fairly quickly, but this particular rock is all green and buggy. Where your breath is crazy, noisy. This must not have been a very secure mine. And it's filthy floor too. Oh my goodness. Oh, we got tracks, guys. We're just going to keep following these tracks. This place is pretty cool. The ceiling suddenly got lower. <laughs> Sweet! This thing's just twisting and turning all over the place. The floor's a bit dirty there, though. What you want to see in a mine is a clean floor. It's a clean floor means the debris is not falling. But right here, it's dirty. But it gets cleaner, so I'm not too concerned. <laughs> we got ourselves a good one today, guys. Woohoo! We got ourselves a good one. In this mine. A little pocket there. Boy, doesn't that look crumbly? God, don't touch that. You don't want stuff falling on you. That's for sure. That could be bad. Oh wow, oh cool, guys check this out, look what I just found, that is so cool, it's like a, a natural hole in the wall, the rock, it's like a geode, only not a sparkly, that is pretty darn cool. What on earth? Oh wow. <laughs> what do you think that's for? But guys, what a cave-in. Look at all this, it's collapsed. Oh my goodness. This is not okay. 
Oh, all right. Let's see what we can see. I don't know how far back it goes. All right. Against my better judgment, we're gonna go up. Testing the rock. It's not gonna come down on me. I think this might be the end, guys. I mean, I'm... Bear, move. Oh! Oh my gosh! Check that out, guys! That keeps going. What we got over here? Oh, that keeps going, too. Alright. So we got more tunnel down there. And a bear right there. And more tunnel right there. Oh boy. That's loose. Okay, guys, it, yeah. Go on, bear. Go on. Go on. Good boy. It ends there. It doesn't go anywhere. But I see railroad tracks, or minecart tracks, rather. Excuse me. So that's good. That's where we just came from. This is where we're going. This is a good one. I'm getting excited. Oh, this one's cool, guys. This one is cool. You gonna lead the way for us today, Bear? You know, I liked it better when you were in front of me, Bear. Ew. Oh, what that is. Oh my gosh! Look what that just old bottle showed us. So cool! It's one of those railroad spikes. Uh, it's railroad. Uh, one of those spikes. That is so cool. What do you think, Bear? Think that's cool? Yeah, of course you do. You love this stuff. All right, let's go, Bear. No, not back. Still going forward. Oh, tunnel's getting shorter too. So the tracks ended just outside of your view. Ended right there. But that's interesting. I can see it sparkling, but I don't know if you guys can. Anyway, what I was saying is. There seems to be a break. <laughs> so we've got this right here going off to the left. 
And then that, continuing on ahead, uh, this looks like it's going to end just right there. So we're going to go this direction first. But check out these old beams. And you saw that one that I kicked. What do you think would happen if I kicked one of these? I mean, goodness. Oh, that's cool. There's a little section of railing right there. Uh, oh my goodness. Guys, check this out. Let me see if I can do this. This is a broom handle. I mean, there's just no structural integrity to this thing at all. Goodness. That is why you cannot trust old beams and mines. You just never know. Yeah, it just ends right here, guys. Lid to something. But yeah. We have reached the end. So. We're going to go ahead and go back to the main tunnel and continue going on straight. There's that archway again. You know, it's all rotted through. So, that's the direction we came from. You can see the railroad. I keep calling them railroad tracks. Sorry. You can see the minecart tracks. And then the mine continues in this direction. For how long? I don't know. But there's another railroad. <laughs> I did it again. There's another spike. That's pretty cool. A couple old bolts. Right here. And the nuts to go with them. Maybe to couple of couple together a pair of tracks or uh, two lengths of track that's something metal I don't know quite what though oh yes I do I know what that is okay yeah these are drill bit heads they would attach onto a uh, some sort of, of air hammer or something and uh, that's what would drill those holes for the dynamite that's pretty cool looks like there's a couple of them that's awesome I'm going to leave them there though so the next person that comes down here and risks their lives can enjoy it okay look yeah see this is what those would go on top of I'm going to sit on top of that and just get rammed into the... There. I think we may have come to the end though, guys. I think we may have hit as far as we can go. Yep. Looks like it. Looks like this is as far as we can go. Just looking around, you never know what you're going to find fun little treasures to look at and uh, leave behind but that is that is really cool I tell you guys I needed to win like this it's been a while since we found a, a decent mine so this is this is pretty darn cool. Here's another 
bike I found. I actually have a a whole pile of those at my house. Not that the, they didn't come from inside of a mine, but our pre, the previous owners, for whatever reason, had a whole bucket full of them. So I guess when the, whoever uh, ran this mine pulled up the tracks, they just left the spikes and the bolts and, and other stuff behind because as I'm walking along looking at the floor, I mean, it's littered with all sorts of stuff, and spikes and whatnot. There are two more that are still in the ties, one there, and this one over here. There's a spike there. I mean, they're all over the place. A couple more. All right, guys. I'm just gonna head back uh, when I get to the the collapse. Uh, we'll rejoin you, and we'll get up and out of this section of the mine together. Okay. Right ahead of us. You can see, well, I don't know if you can see Bear, but Bear just climbed up without me, leaving me behind to fend for myself. So it looks like they thought about going this direction and changed their mind. All right, Bear. I'm coming. All yours. Oh, this is the fun part. Oh. This is the part where I'm down on all knees. I'll be the forest. It was dangerous as that was. It was still pretty cool. Where are you going? Should we go? Let's go, Bear. Come on, Bear. Still gonna make me go first, huh? You guys can tell by my breathing, but it's starting to sound like bear here. There's definitely got the air definitely got thicker back there. Pretty cool places. Pretty cool places. And full of. I don't know if you can see all those, but there's a whole cloud of bugs flittering about up there. Looks like mosquitoes, which is. I think coming out of a mine 
sometimes scares me more than going in. Because what if that had collapsed while I'm at the other end of the mine? <laughs> you know? And what if it collapsed? This is what it looks like without a light. Oh, a flashlight. Quite a good bit of the light does come into these places just naturally from the opening. See that? That is a bone. Looks like somebody had lunch in here. You yeah, check the floor out and it is quite littered with all sorts of debris. I think that might be a piece of wood. Yep, just a piece of wood. <sighs> what about you guys? Well, I'm ready to get out of here. That was fun though. That was quite a bit of fun. Excuse us, bear. Whew. Oh yeah, look at that. More bones. A whole backbone, for crying out loud. Uh, my mom used to take those backbone link thingies, whatever they're called, and uh, for Cub Scouts, we would uh, clean them, paint them, and make really fun neckerchief slides out of them. <laughs> These two even take bones like that, do the same thing. We'd make them look like giraffes and elephants and other things. <laughs> I can't remember. Oh boy. That was a cool place, guys. <laughs> that was a really cool mine. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. That was so much fun. Uh, scary, but at the same time, all those turns and the twists and the cave-ins that we were able to get past, it just very, very satisfying. All, all around satisfying. <laughs> that was a cool mine. Uh, I want to thank you guys for joining me. Your, uh, your views, your comments, your likes. You smell something there? Where are you going? So, if you get a chance, hey look, my truck. Share the video with friends that haven't had a chance to see it yet. Sorry, my watch just thought I said Siri, but I didn't. Like, share, and subscribe, you know. But uh, yeah, thanks so much for your support. Makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. Anyway, Bear and I, we're going to continue exploring this area, so be sure to join us next week. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss an episode or a video. I suspect there are more mines around here. Well, I just need to sniff them out, so to speak, and figure out where they are. But anyway, we got more great stuff coming up, I think. I hope. And uh, thanks for joining me, and we'll... Bear and I will see you next week.